the animal kingdom. A remarkable array of living, breathing natural wonders. Majestic. Compelling. Ingenious. And extraordinary. Fascinating. Physical. Visceral. And ferocious. Discover their past, present, and future. Just stunning. Just glorious. Just amazing. Just animals. Big cats. The largest felines in the world. It's an elite group with only four members. Tigers, lions, jaguars, and leopards. The determining factor that allows entry into this quartet? A big cat's ability to roar. These impressive mammals are found in Africa, Asia, and the Americas. Apart from their roar, big cats all have magnificent coats, each with their own distinct colors and patterns. Their attractive exteriors are one of many reasons these exotic felines are admired. Natural power, cunning stealth, and remarkable presence all add to the global appeal of big cats. In the animal kingdom, big cats belong to the Felidae family, a group of carnivorous or meat-eating mammals. As mammals, female big cats give birth to live young, called cubs which suckle on mother's milk. Having fur is another mammalian characteristic. How lush the coat is depends on the cat's habitat. Species from cooler climates tend to have thicker fur. It is thought that 38 species of cats prowl the world. Big or small, every cat belongs to one of two subfamilies. Big cats belong to the Pantheranae's subfamily, while the remainder of cat species belong to the Felinae's subfamily. It might be surprising that large cats, such as cheetahs and cougars, aren't classed as big cats. But this is not determined by size. As mentioned earlier, it all depends on whether the cat can roar or not. Some other examples from the Felinae's subfamily are servals and bobcats. While this side of the family can purr, big cats can't. As we know, they roar. A vocalization made possible by two special anatomical features. One is a flexible hyoid apparatus in their throat, a combination of bone and ligament. The further it stretches, the deeper the roar. The shape of their vocal cords also makes roaring possible. Theirs are flat and square, which requires a smaller amount of lung pressure to produce loud sounds. Lions have the longest larynxes or voice boxes and are capable of the loudest roars. Similar in volume to a rock concert, 114 decibels, verging on being painful to hear. 
Like their smaller relatives, big cats have sleek, flexible, muscular bodies. Long tails are a common feature, often between a third to a half of the cat's body length. When in motion, cats walk on their toes. This form of locomotion is called digitigrade. Feline paws have soft pads on the soles and their claws are protractable. At rest, the claws are retracted, hidden away. When needed, the muscles in the cat's toes contract, forcing the claws to protract or extend out of their sheaths. Sharp claws are coupled with strong jaws and sharp teeth. Compared to other mammals, felines have shorter faces, which means they have less space for teeth. Cats have 30, compared to the 42 teeth housed in the long muzzles of dogs. Felines do put what teeth they have to efficient use. Long, strong canines are used to stab and kill prey. Tigers have the longest in any cat, up to seven and a half centimeters long. Felines have molars called carnassials, which work like scissors, shredding meat as they move against each other. Cats are also known for their rough tongues, which are covered with backward-facing spines that rasp or scrape off feathers fur and meat. In addition, their tongues make effective grooming tools. With their list of lethal features combined with strength and intelligence, it's no surprise that big cats are some of the most successful terrestrial predators on the planet. Cats are adaptable creatures and are found on every continent except Antarctica. The largest felines of all, tigers, can be found in Asia, which hosts six subspecies. These big cats are known for their vertically striped coats of reddish-orange fur. Similar to fingerprints, the striped patterns on a tiger are unique to each animal. Markings continue down to their tails, which are ringed by dark bands. Tigers are sturdy cats with short, thick necks, wide shoulders, and large, muscular forelimbs. The perfect build to wrestle and hold prey. Siberian, or Amur tigers, are the heavyweights of the tiger world. Males can weigh about 320 kilos. Females are close to half their size. In the wild, these endangered cats persist in Russia's Far East, plus small areas near the border of China, with some possibly inhabiting regions in North Korea. Thick fur on a Siberian tiger is pale orange, the lightest of all tigers, with brown, not black stripes. Around their necks, they have a ruff of white fur to match their pale chests and bellies. In the past, Siberians were larger animals. But recent studies show Bengal tigers now have the longest bodies, measuring up to 310 centimeters, 60 centimeters longer than their Siberian cousins. Bengals are primarily found in the Indian subcontinent, explaining why they're also known as Indian tigers. While they are endangered, Bengals are the most common tiger species. Their orangey-red fur is accented with black stripes. A rare form of Bengal is the white tiger. They are not albinos. They are what's known as leucistic, a genetic condition that causes them to lack pigment in their fur. The smallest in the group is the Sumatran tiger, 
a critically endangered species from its namesake Indonesian island. Compared to other subspecies, the stripes on these tigers are much closer together, which is thought to help camouflage these ambush hunters in their forest habitat. The next big cats, lions, are often called the kings of the jungle, despite the fact they usually reside in grasslands. Recent genetic research divides lions into two subspecies. One has populations roaming across Central, North and West Africa, plus India, while the second group inhabits Southern and Eastern Africa. As with other big cats, females, or lionesses, are smaller in stature. Compared to the rest of the big cats, lions have a plain appearance, a uniform, tawny coat. Mature males make up for this with their manes, long, shaggy ruffs around their neck and shoulders. What looks like a furry shield is actually a natural billboard. Like a peacock attracts attention with its showy train, the size and color of a lion's mane advertises his fitness to others. Lions that live in open environments tend to have fuller manes. Another unique feature is the dark tassel on the end of their tail. Lions are the only cats to display these special tufts. On lions found in India, these tufts are longer. This population shows some other slight differences to their cousins in Africa. They have a skin fold on their belly, and males have shorter manes. As seen in tigers, white lions also exist. Again, they are leucistic. This rare color mutation seen in lion populations in South Africa. Following lions in terms of size is the jaguar, a big cat native to parts of Central and South America. With a body length of 180 centimeters, they are the largest wildcats found in the Americas. Jaguars are stocky, muscled felines with round heads and small eyes and ears. The markings on their golden coats are called rosettes. A jaguar's rosettes have spots in the middle. In contrast, the rosettes on a leopard's fur don't. While these two big cats look similar, there are obvious differences. Geographically, they live worlds apart, with leopards found in Africa and Asia. Of the big cats, leopards are the smallest. Depending on where they live, males can range between 37 and 90 kilos. Once again, females have lighter builds. While jaguars are on their own, there are nine subspecies of leopards. The snow leopard is a separate species altogether. And unlike other leopards, they cannot roar due to the physiology of their voice box, a fact that excludes them from the big cats group. One unusual characteristic seen in jaguars and leopards are individuals with black fur caused by melanism, the opposite to albinism. This genetic mutation results in the increased development of dark pigments in the animal's coat. Whether they are jaguars or leopards, these darkly furred cats are commonly called black panthers. Despite the heavy pigmentation, their rosette markings are visible. No matter what color their fur, the rosettes are like a tiger's stripes. The patterns they make are unique. 
the Big Cats, a remarkably diverse group of extraordinary felines. As apex predators, the Big Cats have an impressive arsenal of adaptations and skills that keep them at the top of the food chain. Felines are known for their stealthy moves. Their covert nature begins down at their paws. The soft pads on their soles not only cushion their feet, but muffle their footsteps. All cats have five digits on their forelimbs, with only four on the hind. The fifth digit on the forepaw is similar to a thumb. Known as a dew claw, it's located higher up the leg and doesn't touch the ground. Having a greater number of claws up front reflects the importance of grabbing and holding prey to a feline. Sharp claws enhance this ability. These tough projections are made from a fibrous protein called keratin, the same substance that hair and feathers are comprised of. Felines keep their claws sharp by dragging them over rough surfaces. In species that climb trees, claws dig into bark, keeping the cats stable whilst navigating through the foliage. Despite their size, big cats can be nimble up in the branches. Should the need arise, claws are excellent weapons for self-defense. When running, a big cat's claws give the animal traction. Jaguars are the fastest in the group. Over short distances, they can sprint along at 100 kilometers per hour. Lions are not as swift. 80 kilometers per hour is their top speed. Leopards and tigers are slower again, running at about 60 kilometers per hour. Half what the fastest land animal, the cheetah, can manage. When running, the lengthy tail of a big cat helps to keep them balanced. Tails make good communication tools as well. Lions use them to signal each other when hunting in a pack. They can also be a visual aid for cubs, giving these little big cats something to follow as they tag along behind their mother. Some cheeky cubs like to use their mother's tail as a swap toy. All felines are known for their agility. Having back legs longer than their front legs allows them to push off and take great leaps forward. Jaguars are famous for their pouncing ability. Translated, their name means he who kills with one leap. Their bounds can measure five and a half meters. In addition, these Latin American cats are strong swimmers. They often combine these two skills and leap into the water after prey. Fish are often on their menu. Jaguars are known to use their tail tips as lures to bring in a catch. They aren't the only big cat that likes the water. Tigers are often seen in water holes. The fur on a big cat serves a few purposes, such as providing warmth and protection. Their coats are double layered. The short, fine underfur traps in body heat, insulating the animal while long, coarser guard hairs protect their skin. Fur also provides natural camouflage, a must for any successful predator. A lion's yellowy-brown coat matches the sunburnt grasses of the savanna, allowing these mammals to remain hidden while stalking their prey. Out in the open, stripes or spots might appear to make a cat stand out. 
but put them in the habitat and the function of these patterns becomes clear. These markings not only match the dappled light in forests, they also break up the animal's outline, making them difficult to see when they're slinking through vegetation. This visual trick is called disruptive coloration. Tigers have additional markings on the back of their ears, white circles known as eye spots or ocelli. These false eyes are thought to be a form of mimicry to trick any would-be predator behind the tiger into thinking they're being watched. Eye spots are seen on other animals and are thought to work in the same way. In contrast, lions have dark markings on the backside of their ears. Like their tails, they're thought to help hunting parties follow each other when in long grass. The whiskers on a big cat are not there for show. They are all about feel. Also known as vibrissae, these sensitive facial hairs pick up vibrations, helping the feline detect any movement in their surroundings. In addition, these feelers can allow a cat to judge if there's ample room for it to fit or move through tight spaces. On lions, the base of each whisker has a dark spot. The patterns they make are unique. A helpful characteristic for researchers wanting to identify particular individuals. Sense-wise, big cats have good hearing. Their ears can rotate to face the direction a sound is coming from. Lions are able to hear prey that are over a kilometre away and can listen out for other members of their family, known as a pride. Big cats have keen vision. During the day, it is good, better in low light. Their retinas are packed with large amounts of light-sensitive rod cells. Any faint source, such as moonlight or starshine, is enhanced by these cells, allowing the feline to see their way through the gloom. A useful quality for nocturnal hunters. In addition to this, lions have white fur below their lower lid, which is thought to reflect light back into their eyes. Observe a big cat for a period of time and they may pull a strange face, similar to a smile or a grimace. What they are actually doing is a form of sniffing. In the roof of their mouth, felines have a Jacobson's organ, a region that helps the cat taste smells that are wafting through the air. When they scrunch their face up like this, it's called a flamen's response. By sucking air across this organ, they can determine what a scent is and if it's worth pursuing or eating. Big cats are naturally spectacular animals with impressive skill sets and massive appeal. The family tree of big cats has long, ancient roots. The last common ancestor of all modern felines was a prehistoric cat that roamed Asia, Europe and North America 9 to 20 million years ago. Saber-toothed cats also sprang from this creature. Roughly 10 million years ago, the roaring cats split away from the rest of the pack. Over time, these large felines branched off in different directions. Lions, leopards and jaguars are closely related. As for tigers, 
studies have shown they have more in common genetically with snow leopards, to the point that they are regarded as sister species. As members of the carnivora order, big cats have ancestral links with other feliforms, such as hyenas, mongooses, servals, linsangs, and genets. With ties to these animals, plus their numerous feline cousins, the big cats have a fascinating heritage. To the casual observer, big cats might seem to be lethargic animals, lounging around and dozing. This sluggish behavior is all about energy conservation. By keeping activity levels to a minimum during the heat of the day, these creatures don't waste precious reserves. Big cats are also nocturnal animals, meaning they're active at night. A great deal of their prey rest at this time, a fact big cats take advantage of. As opportunistic predators, if the chance of a daytime meal presents itself, they will follow their instincts. After gorging themselves, these quick digesters return to resting. Lions are known to spend about 20 hours a day napping. Apart from females with cubs, the majority of big cats are solitary animals. Lions are the exception to this rule. These social felines live together in prides. The average pride is 15 cats. The group comprised of related females and their offspring, plus a minimum of one male. When conditions are kind, prides can support more members. Lush vegetation equals higher numbers of prey. Amongst lionesses, there is no hierarchy. When cubs are around, the ladies of the pride work together to raise them. Teamwork is something lionesses understand well. They are the ones that do a great deal of the hunting. Lions have highly developed frontal cortexes, the part of the brain responsible for problem solving and decision making. In lionesses, this section of the brain is more prominent, perhaps explaining their advanced hunting strategies compared to the males in a pride. In addition, lionesses have lighter builds and are capable of faster speeds. Cooperation has its rewards. Hunting as a group, lions can go after much larger prey compared to what their solitary cousins can capture. Apart from keeping themselves well fed, big cats devote part of their day ensuring they are well groomed. This behavior keeps them parasite free and cleans blood from their coats. Good hygiene is vital for their health and longevity. Their raspy tongues work well, raking away dirt and loose fur. Lions also take part in mutual grooming, a practice which strengthens bonds between cats. Like other animals, big cats will pant to get rid of excess heat. Tigers take this to the extreme, sitting or swimming in water to cool down. Jaguars also have an affinity for the water. Tree branches not only offer shade for big cats, but refreshing breezes. When they're not resting, cubs play. 
Scampering about and wrestling is an amusing way for these youngsters to pass the time. But this exuberant behavior has other advantages. Gross motor skills like walking and climbing improve through play, as does their coordination. While they scuffle with each other, their growing muscles get a workout. Each day, these small, big cats get stronger. Through this constant, light-hearted contact, lion cubs form strong social bonds with their fellow pride members. This playful nature stays with lionesses as they mature. Being the four that can roar, communication is something all big cats excel at. Vocalizing is one obvious way these felines send messages to each other. Scent marking is another way these cats keep in touch. By spraying urine, they stake out territory. These smelly signals are also spread through touch. Big cats can often be seen rubbing against trees. When they do this to each other, it's called bunting. Cats have scent glands on their faces. Amongst lions, this behavior is a form of greeting, a friendly gesture they will perform throughout their lives. Big cats are attention magnets, especially when they are cubs. Watching their delightful antics, it's easy to forget that these charmers will eventually become lethal apex predators. Jaguar cubs, like this zoo-born, arrive after a gestation period of about a hundred days. They are usually born in litters of two. Jaguar cubs are weaned off milk by the time they're three months old. Soon after this stage, they join their mother on hunting trips. Young jaguars usually take two years to become independent cats. In their natural environment, these majestic creatures can survive for 12 to 15 years. Tigers come into the world surrounded by siblings. After a three and a half month pregnancy, tigresses can have up to seven in a litter. The average cub weighs about a kilo. These baby felines can't see properly until they're about two weeks old. For their first two months, tiger cubs rely on their mother's milk for nourishment. When baby tigers reach the six week mark, life starts to get more interesting cubs begin to include meat in their diet and they are allowed to venture out from the safety of their den to explore the wider world. These zoo-born cubs are spoiled with playmates and toys, the perfect combination to challenge growing bodies and minds. By the time a tiger cub is four months old, it's the size of a medium dog. Two months later, and the stripy youngsters are fully weaned off milk. Not long after this, mother tigers allow their cubs to accompany her when foraging. Hunting is one of many life skills they need to master to ensure they are successful, healthy adults. At 18 months, juvenile tigers become independent, leaving their mother to establish territories of their own. Young females can raise their first litter by their third or fourth birthday. Males take a couple of years more to mature. In their natural environment, tigers can enjoy a lifespan of about 10 years.
With lions, their lives start in a similar manner to tigers. Their gestation period is, however, slightly longer, about four months. Compared to their stripy cousins, lionesses have smaller litters, up to four cubs. Newborns weigh between one and two kilos. Mother's milk fuels their growth. Blind at first, the cub's eyes function at 11 days. Their irises are bluey-gray. These furry babies gain the strength to walk at two weeks. By their first month, these mini lions have their milk teeth. And they can now run. Lion cubs have brown rosette markings on their coats, similar to those on leopards. These are believed to offer the babies camouflage. As the cat matures, they will fade. On lionesses, these spots can persist underneath their bodies and on their limbs. Lionesses usually wait until her offspring are six to eight weeks old before rejoining the pride. The teamwork seen amongst lionesses sometimes extends to raising cubs. Within a pride, females appear to synchronize their reproductive cycles, which leads to communal suckling and babysitting. Curious youngsters always appreciate extra playmates. The bolder ones will attempt to engage with older members of the pride. Results can be mixed. By two to three months, the cub's eye color changes to orangey-brown, like the adults. At this stage, they begin to eat meat. This is also when their mature coat starts to develop. Before long, their tail tip develops a tuft. These small carnivores are weaned off their mother's milk by the time they're 10 months old when their permanent teeth have come through. With lots of play fighting as training, cubs soon learn to hunt. Juvenile lions taking their first prey sometime between their first and second birthdays. This is when the boys start to stand out with their manes beginning to develop. The larger and darker their manes, the better their chances of passing on their genes. Young females tend to stay with their birth pride, while juvenile males are excluded from the group. They often pair up and wander nomadically until they become part of a new pride. By the age of three or four, lionesses are able to start reproducing. Lions take another year before they can successfully mate. There is no particular breeding season for lions, females coming into heat monthly. These big cats continue to grow, reaching full size at six. Adult lions can weigh up to 190 kilos, females slightly less. Lionesses can raise litters until they're about 11. In the wild, lions can roam their pride lands for 15 to 18 years. While big cats are all felines, each species has their own particular needs that help them succeed in their environment. Tigers, for example, prefer to be close to water like plenty of cover, and require abundant prey in their locality. A variety of habitats provide these necessities for tigers, including forests, woodlands, swamps, and grasslands. Dense vegetation particularly suits them, allowing their stripes to do their work, hiding their bodies in plain sight. 
Leopards are adaptable cats, but rainforests and savanna are favoured over other environments. Wherever they live, trees are important to these cats. Up in the branches is where these spotted felines spend the majority of their day, keeping cool and resting. Trees also provide leopards with good vantage points. When something sparks their interest, they can move down to ground level to take a closer look. While they are large animals, zebras are not beyond a hungry leopard. Antelope are a common food source for these big cats. Bigger species are consumed where they fall. Smaller antelope are often dragged up into trees to ensure the leopard can dine in peace or not have it stolen. Adult leopards are solitary animals and territory is everything to them. Scent marking and clawed tree trunks are obvious signposts to other leopards, warning them that they are trespassing. Their Latin American cousins, jaguars, show a preference for wooded regions and swampland. In western India, a small population of lions are found in and around Gia Forest National Park. Within this reserve, their habitat is a combination of dry savanna and dry scrub. Meanwhile, in Africa, lions occupy a variety of habitats, such as grasslands and savannas, open woodlands, scrub and semi-arid plains. Shade is a must for these big cats to shelter them during their frequent daytime naps. Acacia trees are a popular natural umbrella for these felines to lounge under. As expected, water sources are important for these big cats, and not only to quench their thirst. Water holes attract prey species. Amongst terrestrial carnivores, cats are the strictest. These animals are what's known as hypercarnivores, with meat making up more than 70% of their diet. Lions are not fussy carnivores. Anything that shares their habitat could end up as a meal. Large prey often feature on their menus. Wildebeest, zebra and buffalo are favorites. Giraffe occasionally get targeted by hungry cats as well. Lions are also known to bully other animals away from their kills, and they are not above scavenging. To protect themselves from hard hoof kicks whilst trying to catch a meal, lions have loose belly skin. In a pride, there is a pecking order at meal times. If males are present, they eat first, then the lionesses, and finally, any cubs. A mature lion can devour 18 kilos in one sitting. If their daily intake is threatened, fights can erupt. A hyena lurks nearby, ever hopeful for any scraps. Every ecosystem has apex predators, animals that sit at the top of the food chain. Big cats take on this role, influencing their environment from the top down. By keeping prey populations in check, they ensure the stability and health of the entire community. For example, by thinning out herds, lions inadvertently make sure herbivore food supplies aren't overgrazed. Sick and weak animals make easy prey. Their removal from a population makes the remaining gene pool disease-free and stronger. Lions earn their title as king of the beasts ruling over their pride lands for the benefit of the whole wild community.
big cats have been making an impact on the world for thousands of years. Depictions of these felines are found around the globe, many embellishing famous historical sites. Lions have been a particular favorite. Prehistoric artists capturing a pride in action on the walls of the Chauvet Caves in southern France. Discovered in 1994, these paintings are thought to be approximately 30,000 years old. One of the largest statues in the world was built in about 2,500 BC. The Great Sphinx of Giza, a mythological beast with the body of a lion and the head of a king this limestone creation was a symbol of wisdom and strength. The same big cat also inspired the ancient Egyptians when they imagined the goddess Sekhmet. With the head of a lioness, she represented the might of the blazing sun. In 732 AD, Mayans built the Jaguar Temple, a stepped pyramid that stands 37 meters high. Jaguar masks fashioned from stone blocks adorn the front of this ancient tomb. Lions are a popular motif in Chinese art. Statues of guardian lions protected the entrances of imperial palaces. These stone giants continue to stand watch over the forbidden city. As king of the beasts, the lion has long been associated with royalty. These regal-looking felines thought to represent nobility, courage and strength. Their images are common on heraldry. Since medieval times, lions have been used as a symbol for England. Other nations hold big cats in high esteem. A lion and a tiger proudly share duties on Singapore's coat of arms. In Somalia, leopards are charged with a similar task. A golden lion strikes a stately pose on Sri Lanka's flag. The city of Venice is patrolled by numerous sculptures of lions. These cats, a traditional symbol of the city. Lions also feature in Chinese cultural celebrations. Dancers wear vibrant costumes and mimic the movement of these felines when performing the lion dance. These spectacular shows are thought to bring good luck and fortune. A festive celebration of these fascinating cats. As much as big cats are admired, these majestic animals face a multitude of challenges in the modern world. Habitat loss is a big issue. As large felines, they need space to roam around and hunt. Deforestation and fragmentation impacts these wild cats. As does agriculture and human encroachment. The closer communities get to big cat territories, conflicts occur. Loss of habitat also affects their prey species, which means lower food supplies for these apex predators. The reduction in their populations upsetting the balance of the entire ecosystem. The bushmeat trade, trophy hunting and poaching all contribute to declines in wild populations. Some cultures continue to believe in the supposed magical and medicinal properties of big cat body parts. A cruel and pointless practice. The conservation status of each big cat varies. Presently, jaguars are considered to be near threatened. Lions and leopards are one step down in the vulnerable category. Tigers are even lower, regarded as endangered. Conservation groups do what they can to improve conditions for big cats in the wild, formally protecting tracts of land and setting up reserves. Anti-poaching teams work on the ground to give additional security to remaining populations. In Africa, lions and leopards are part of the Big Five, animals promoted to safari groups as must-see. 
the popularity of wildlife tourism is a great incentive for local communities to embrace and protect these felines. By doing so, they improve their financial well-being. Global captive breeding programs in sanctuaries and zoos ensure healthy insurance populations exist. These animals also act as ambassadors for their wild counterparts, raising awareness and funds to boost conservation efforts. Hopefully, a better educated public translates to continued efforts to preserve these magnificent felines, giving them and the ecosystems that rely on these big cats brighter futures.